Everyone's Dave, Sam and Ash. The coast's number one way to wake up. Good morning, sunny coast, 8 past 8. Now, we've got something really, really cool coming to the coast. It's called NetFest. Now, registrations close in the next couple of days, so if you're keen to get out and suss out what NetFest is, it goes from the 4th to the 7th of October. And joining us right now is one of the legends of the game, Netball itself, uh, all the way from New Zealand today, Laura Langman. Hello. Kia ora, kia ora. How's yeah. everybody? <laughs> oh, we've missed you. Oh, stop. Not too much, though, because we still won without you. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, um... Mate, pick and pick. <laughs> In seriousness, though, Laurie, we have missed you, and it is great to be able to talk to you this morning. It feels right. It does. Uh, that the one element of the uh, the lightning victory that was missing is Laura Langman, and she's back with us now. And now, Laura, um, you have um, gotten back on the Silver Ferns team for New Zealand, which is amazing, so congratulations. Uh, but NetFest, you've got a large part in this competition. Can you explain to us the format of what it is when it comes to the Sunshine Coast? Yeah, well, um, NetFest, I had my first taste last year, and I know there's people that have um, followed it around, all around um, Oz, um, but it is a weekend 100% full of fun. It is um, go from um, day one to day three, yeah. um, and it's just lots of fun. It's actually a really tough and challenging format, playing in the in the sand um, and obviously a bit of um, weather conditions as well. The wind can play a factor. But um, pretty much it's a great weekend. I had an absolute ball going from traditional netball, then whipping across the beach netball and even got to have a go. So um, I can't promote it anymore. If you're looking for a girls' weekend or a lads' weekend, yeah. um, NetFest is where it's at. So you get to, together a team and you can compete across the weekend. Is that right? With netball? Yeah. In the yeah, sand. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, and in the, the sand. Sounds like fun. So the sand would make yeah. it easier to not step in some regards, but it would also make it hard to get position. Yeah, and the old, um, you think you've got it, and the next minute your body just can't quite get there. So it's very grounding all in one. Yeah, because <laughs> you wouldn't be able to jump as high and things like that as well. There's so many people who will... Uh, want to play goalkeeper. No one's going to want to play centre. Mm. <laughs> no one is going well, to want to play centre. <laughs> Although goalkeepers, no. they're very, they, they do, they're on the clock. If you like Jeeva Mentor, you don't stop. Oh, I was going to say, I don't think it, um, the, the, it would, the sand would be a problem for Jeeva. She's a machine whether she's oh, on hard court or she's on sand. But um, uh, yeah, for, for, the, um, for the more um, social player, um, the sand does add an exciting factor to it. Mm. Because you're right, because you can have a little nap um, in between <laughs> quarters. Nice. Do a little no. sunbake. Yeah, ten. I'm all the towel and um, the, old, <laughs> the old the old uh, towel tactical timeout. <laughs> the, 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 the yeah. Well, well Laura Layman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Registrations closed for Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> Or net, net fest and chill, I like it. Or, or net flex and chilly button if you were Laura. <laughs> All right, netfest.com.au. Get registrations in right now. Thank you, Laura Langman.